An estimated 3.6 million Americans are at risk of being evicted from their homes. That's because a federal freeze on evictions expired over the weekend. Here to talk about this is Emily Blair, vice president of the Austin Apartment Association. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you. As I mentioned, the federal eviction moratorium is no longer in place. How much of an impact does that have on renters and landlords in Austin and the surrounding area? Sure. So um, we hope the impact will, will not be severe because obviously we hope that evictions is always the last resort. Um, but the impact will differ if you are in Austin and Travis County versus not in Austin and Travis County. The local orders um, were extended to um, enact or continue the eviction protections and prohibit notices to vacate with some exceptions through October 15. So if you are um, a renter who is behind on rent, we really strongly encourage you pursue those rental assistance programs that are available. Um, now is the time to contact your rental housing provider, speak to your property manager and work in tandem with them to seek that available assistance because there are several programs that you may apply for. And many people are worried about losing their homes in places that don't have a local moratorium. What's the next step in the eviction process that people should be aware of? Sure. Um, an eviction process is it's really important to remember a few key things. First of all, it's a process that is governed by state law. Um, it takes several weeks, if not more. And there's a series of notices. Um, something like a notice to vacate is one of the steps in that process. So um, that's an opportunity for you to work with your rental housing provider to find a solution. Um, you know, we've seen a lot of our landlords extend payment plans and really work hard to uh, keep residents in their homes. Um, so now is a really great opportunity to seek the assistance. Um, like I mentioned, there's several programs that may help you um, shore up your account and move forward and ensure that you can stay in your home. Speaking of that rental assistance, what is available to people? Absolutely. So here in Austin and Travis County, there's three programs. Um, so the Texas Rent Relief Program is available to any Texan resident. Texas resident, so please apply for that. It's texasrentrelief.com. And um, the Austin, city of Austin has a program, Travis County has a program. And outside of uh, Travis County, there's also a program in Hayes County um, that was announced recently and that it, that is available for Hayes County residents for behind on rent. What and we have all of that information on our website, I'm sorry. Uh, if you go to austinaptassoc.com, there's direct links to all of the rental assistance programs available there. When Austin's eviction moratorium ends, uh, what do you expect to happen and, and how soon do you think that that's going to take place? So the current orders extend through October 15. Um, and that does, as of September 1st, um, create a slightly different scenario. So if you're a renter who is three or more months behind as of September 1, um, then there is a possibility that you may receive a notice to vacate from your rental housing provider or property owner. Quickly, so that's you mentioned, why we really... Yeah, you mentioned a website that people can go to for help. If you could just repeat that again so that people can, can take note of that. Yes, austinaptassoc.com slash renters. All right. Emily Blair with the Austin Apartment Association. Thank you so much for sharing your time with us tonight. Thank you.